Oh, no, he's sneaking in the bathroom. <laughs> and by sneaking, mostly being drug up by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency, for finding Sir Wilfred Morris. <laughs> today I hosted a King's Prize tournament um, on the equestrian field today. Uh, and of all the riders, Sir Wilfred proved victorious. Uh, in recognition of this, we have prepared a scroll in honor of your victory. A kingdom's greatest defense is its cavalry. The riders of Meridiers have displayed their prowess today on the tournament field, and the finest arming them is Wolfric Heverell. In recognition of this, does His Royal Majesty bestow the King's Prize, done this 17th day of November, on Associatatus 47, in 2012, Thomas Rex.
ourselves and our heralds to determine unique and suitable arms. By our hands the 17th day of November, on Associatus 47, being 2012 Gregorian, Thomas Rex Alessandra Reina. Okay, I apologize. They've written a pair. They've actually given you all the <laughs> they used and where they got it from. Yeah, um, painting by Connell uh, Blenhaven, uh, designed by Lady Rosamond Playfair, and calligraphy by Stefan Chikop. <laughs> letters without people spending the time to go and doing the online form or sending us emails or sending us posts. We don't know who to give awards to. Please look around your shires, look around at the people who are working. Ensure that they have all the recognition they deserve. Unfortunately, we all sometimes assume that somebody may have an award of arms or some other deserving award. Verify, because I, that happens way too often and sometimes people are too far or too long before they're, they receive the recognition they deserve. Summons into their majesty's presence, Isabel Nugent. <laughs> For anyone who didn't hear that, her response was, seriously? <laughs> and the answer really is, yes. yes. <laughs> Stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> I can't believe you think we joke about something this serious. <laughs> Isabel. It's been a pleasure watching you start and grow at the SCA. You dove in head first. Was the, what, what was it, the first or second event you were at that, that she was doing a tea for all the teachers? Did a, did a luncheon for all the teachers? It was the third one that she did the tea. Anyway, she's been working since she started. <laughs> we are very, very happy that it fell to us to award you arms and thank you. Charmaine 
You have worked so hard recently. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hard. Before spending some time working very hard for Glen Abbott. She spent. What was, your, what was your volunteer hour count? I'm going to actually. This is great. What was your volunteer hour count at Gulfport last year? I don't know. Was it more than 50 hours? Oh, yes. yes. Was it more than 80? Probably. It was right in the 80 hours that she volunteered at Gulfport last year. Um, she also has been travel coordinator and chancellor and everything. And honestly, it was yet again when she was brought up in the order of the vow, the response was wait. Didn't she already have one? So, luckily, it fell to us. We would at this time induct you into this world. Yay. The bow feeds the tree, lets it grow to fruition in full glory. So does our subject, Charmaine de Chanson, feed the fair kingdom of Meridians to bring it to its fullness. Her good service and labors have let us shine. Therefore do we, King Thomas and Queen Elisanda, name her to our noble Order of the Bow. This we do. Call for Joffrey MacDonald. 